Hi, welcome back. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Vince uh, and you're very welcome. Thanks for stopping by. So quite a few comments have been made about how expensive this longevity game is. And I agree, it can be very expensive. Uh, but no real numbers have, been, have ever been written down. So what I thought I would do today is to um, set out what it would cost you to take David Sinclair's admitted longevity stack as stated uh, in his book Lifespan. So let's take a look at how much it would cost you in dollars to take David Sinclair's longevity stack for a month and then also for one year. So as most people have access to Amazon.com, I will use Amazon as the marketplace and I'll go for the cheapest products that fit David Sinclair's longevity stack. Um, I'm only going to cover exactly what he states in his book. Uh, there are a number of other blogs um, and articles that assume he takes other things, but I'm really only going to stick to what he's written in his book. So the first thing we know that he takes is one gram of NMN a day. Uh, and as we all know, NMN is used to boost NAD levels in our body. So food grade capsules, 30 times 250 milligram capsules is going to cost you $19.94. A month, that's going to cost you $79.76. And for one gram per day for a year, it's going to cost you $957.12. So as we know, he also takes one gram of resveratrol in the morning, and this has been shown to lengthen the lifespan in certain animals. It may increase insulin sensitivity. It may ease some joint pain. And as David Sinclair puts it, it's the accelerator pedal for NMN. And he likens NMN to the gasoline or the petrol that we put in cars. So trans resveratrol powder 60 grams of that will cost you just under $15. Monthly, one gram will cost you $7.49. And the cost of one gram per day per year is going to cost you $89.94. Now, we know to aid in the metabolism of the resveratrol, he, he mixes it with a fatty yogurt. So I've looked on Amazon, whole milk yogurt. 907 grams, which is about eight cups, is going to cost you $6.94. That'll cost you $26.01 per month and $312.12 for the year. So we also know that he takes one gram of metformin per day. Now, in many countries, metformin is a prescription drug. And those that can't get hold of it, and I include myself in that list, use berberine instead. So that's what I've costed. So berberine food grade capsules, 120 times 125 milligram capsules will cost $24.68. That's $6.17 per month. And that's $74.04 a year. Now, do you need to take more berberine than metformin to get the same effect? I'd like to know if someone can tell me if, if there's a formula or is it one gram of berberine equals one gram of metformin. If you already have metformin um, available to you, when we tally up the scores at the end, you can just remove $6.17 for the monthly cost or $74 from the annual cost. So let's look at the vitamins that he takes. He takes vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. Vitamin D regulates calcium and maintenance of phosphorus levels in our blood. These factors are vital for maintaining healthy bones. Vitamin D allows our intestines to stimulate and absorb calcium and reclaim calcium that our kidneys would otherwise excrete. So vitamin D3, K2, food grade capsules, 60 capsules of vitamin D3 
at 5,000 international units and K2 at 100 um, micrograms is $19.95. Cost per month is $9.97 and the cost per year would be $119.70. So why do we take vitamin K2 with D3? Well, K2 is the taxi, if you like, and it ensures the calcium, when it comes into our body, goes to the right place. So it makes sure it goes to our bones and our teeth and not into our soft tissues like our kidneys. So he also mentions that he takes aspirin. Now, as well as a cure for headaches, aspirin is also an anti-inflammatory drug that can be used as a blood thinner. People with a high risk of blood clots, stroke and heart attack can use aspirin in the long term in low doses. Now, he says he takes 83 milligrams a day. I could only find 81 milligrams for sale on Amazon. Um, that seems close enough for me. Does anyone disagree with that um, number? If so, let me know in the comments below. So low dose aspirin tablets, 365 tablets, which is a two pack, uh, equals $19.95. So the cost of taking that in a month is 60 cents. And over a year, that would cost you $7.20. So the next thing we're going to discuss is trimethylglycine, or TMG, as it's more commonly known. Many people have warned me about methylation, and have sent me links to Chris, Chris Masterjohn videos, uh, and also mentioned in the comments that David Sinclair takes some kind of TMG. So this is a direct quote from his book, Lifespan, and you'll find this quote on page 305. And in it he says that it makes sense to talk about methylation because the N in NR and NMN stands for nicotinamide, and it's a version of vitamin B. Um, and when in excess, the body methylates it and excretes it in the urine. Um, and this can potentially deplete cells of methyls. But as he says, this still remains a theory. So I won't be including this in the pricing of his daily stack. So let's take a look at the total cost of taking David Sinclair's stack. So monthly, if we take into account all the figures we've discussed previously, it's going to cost you around $130.18 per month. And annually, it's going to cost you $1,562.00 and 16 cents. So um, I hope that was interesting. What do you think? Do you think it's uh, too expensive? Bear in mind that resveratrol and LMN with regard to longevity still haven't been proven to work in humans. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Please take care. And in these extraordinary times, Please stay safe. Uh, see you soon. Bye for now.